What is going on guys? Grave here today. Let's talk about a video that I made yesterday, kind of clear some things up. Yesterday I made a video talking about Activision's financial release where they had made the statement that there will be a new full premium release in 2023. So a lot of people thought they were going to go ahead and speed up Treyarch and kind of push Treyarch forward and make them come out with their new game in 2023 instead of 2024. And that's not the case. Um, they said the next full Treyarch game will not be coming out until 2024. So they want to make some clarifications. It says next year in 2023, there will be more Modern Warfare 2. It will be premium paid expansion by Sledgehammer, which I think is kind of odd, but I'll get into that here in just a second. And it's also supposed to have a ton of content. And I'm assuming that's why they're calling it a full release. But by the way they worded it, I think a lot of people, including myself, were wrong. We, we all thought, you know, we were mistaken. We thought that when they said a new full premium release, it would be a new Call of Duty game. But it's just going to be more kind of added on to what, uh, you know, we have in Modern Warfare 2. Now, I do find it kind of odd that Sledgehammer is making this content because if Activision has decided to slay, uh, stay on this same kind of track that they've had over the last several years where you have three developers, you would assume that Sledgehammer would already be working on their next game to come out after Treyarch's game comes out in 2024 instead of working on premium paid content for Modern Warfare 2. I'm assuming Infinity Ward will still have a hand in this. I'm not sure what a full premium paid content what, what that idea is going to look like will it be as much as a, a regular game is it going to be a little bit less i'm assuming it's going to have a pretty hefty price tag on it i'm not thinking it's going to be something like we'd seen in the past before battle passes were around where you bought map packs and they were like what 15 or 20 bucks i'm assuming this may have campaign gameplay on it which i think a lot of people will like you're seeing some campaign gameplay in the background right now the campaign was great but what all could they do for a whole year of content to make players want to go out and purchase more content for a game that they have had for a year? And a lot of people have had this conversation about Call of Duty. Some people think that Call of Duty should, you know, be on a yearly cycle. Some do not. The one thing I can agree with the people that think that Call of Duty should not be on a yearly cycle or, you know, should stay on that yearly cycle is by the end of, let's say, after Call of Duty has been out for eight or nine months. The content, in my opinion, in the battle passes are kind of lacking. Uh, when it comes to updates and gameplay, things are kind of lacking. And so I can understand why, you know, Activision has decided to maybe put some new content in. I'm just not sure if a lot of people are going to, want to pay for that new content, considering if everyone's kind of just done with Modern Warfare 2. Everybody has moved on to Warzone 2, which we've known has happened in the past. When Warzone's out, that's what a lot of people play. They don't really play multiplayer. Will you see people purchasing this, you know, kind of premium update for the game? Will they kind of tie in some things for Warzone to that? I'm not sure how the community is going to feel about this idea. Is this what Activision is wanting to do going forward? Are we going to see Call of Duty go away from that yearly uh, release kind of schedule and have, you know, the game come out and then the next year after that, just more content added to that previous year's game? We'll have to wait and see. But like I said, I just wanted to make a video kind of clearing all of that up because I was confused myself. The way that Activision ordered that, I kind of assumed there was going to be a new Call of Duty game coming out next year in 2023. And apparently it's only going to be an expansion, a premium paid expansion for Modern Warfare 2. Anyway, leave me a comment with your thoughts down in the comment section. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.